All right, I thought I'd make a video of my new addition. Uh, this is a 2000 model John Deere F1145 with a cozy cab on it. I was originally looking for a cozy cab for my F1145, uh, but they're few and far between and they're up north and they're all, a lot of them are all rusted out. Uh, so it's hard to find a good one for a good deal. Um, so I was on Facebook Marketplace last November and this unit popped up and it was just selling it with the cab with no attachments um, for a heck of a deal. Uh, so I figured, figured I'd pick this one up and sell my personal F1145. Uh, and the reason for that is because this unit has um, about 500 less hours uh, than my F1145 does. And these cabs are kind of a pain to swap over. Um, so this, uh, this unit, I uh, picked it up from a gentleman who won it in a municipal auction. Uh, it was from a county, uh, Gloucester County, New Jersey owned it. Um, and like all counties, they have to send their vehicles and equipment to auctions. Uh, so it has this X on it. I think they painted that for auction or something. Uh, this is the fleet number 457. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a solid unit. Uh, it's been sitting, I basically, basically like mothballed it in my friend's barn for the past year. Cause I just haven't had a chance to work on it. I just have too many projects. Um, so Hopefully I uh, can use it for plowing snow this winter. I uh, finally had a chance to break it out. And uh, today I'm going to go through and power wash everything. But yeah, these are just really hard to find with like a basically rust-free cozy cab. Um, that's as bad as it gets right there. Uh, like I said, this machine's from southern New Jersey. So probably didn't see a whole lot of run time in the snow, um, which is good. But yeah, the cab's in really good shape. It just needs little things uh, like the head, the foam headliners coming apart. Um, I got to go through the fuse panel over here. Uh, it needs a wiper. It needs lights. Uh, got to do some electrical work in it. But all in all, it's in really solid condition. Um, also, it's awesome since this is a county machine. I got all the original service records for it. Um, no receipts. It's just kind of a all the records anything that was done to it um they recorded so that was awesome i believe it had a deck at one time um because they said they sharp so yeah just about anything mechanical that was done on this unit was recorded which is awesome to have um because counties are usually pretty anal about maintenance um so yeah as you can see it had its own file but yeah this is uh this is a solid unit it's got 1041 hours on it um and it runs just pretty much like new it just doesn't look the best um needs some tlc but yeah i'm really happy to have this heater uh it needs the 90 elbows for the to connect to those lines um just little stuff like that uh nothing really major it just runs like a top i'll fire it up here Yeah, I'm gonna power wash this unit today and uh, kind of get her detailed a bit. Uh, I might powder coat the rims eventually. They're looking a little rough and maybe I'll paint most of the sheet metal at some point, but for this winter, it's just gonna work. I'm a subcontractor and uh, this is gonna do all sidewalks at uh, basically corporate centers and uh, wherever else it's needed. So yeah, I'll uh, take some pictures after I clean this up and uh, get all this barn dust off here but I might have my friend buff it um, you know after I wash it and see uh, if we can bring any original paint back to life but, but yeah I'm gonna put in a wiper right uh, probably two lights like maybe LED pods or something there and there uh, might have to drill some holes um, and get this heater working and, and yeah Gotta connect this door too, it's bolts onto the frame like that. 
Yeah, as you can see, there's a uh, like a fuse panel here. Wiper lights, flasher, whatever else. This fan doesn't work. Uh, probably got to look at the wiring on it. I don't know what's deal with that. Up this door, I can take you for a spin. Yeah, it's a little loud in here. I'm gonna put some new foam in it and uh. This door opens as well, like that. Total latches are pretty heavy duty, I like that. Here are a few pictures after I cleaned up the F1145 and mounted the snow plow on it. We had an impending snowstorm a few days after I shot the main video, so unfortunately I didn't have much time to make a video of wiring the lights and getting the heater working. But overall in the storm it held up great, it was very reliable, still needs a few minor tweaks, but I hope we get more snow this winter so I can try it out again. Thanks for watching.